Jim, we appreciate uh, you being with us. As uh, it's just been Quite great, right. it's been great before. Can we end up with a? Since I got the mic, I get to ask the last question. I'm recalling 18 months ago when you talked to this class. None of these folks will remember it. I went home and told my wife, "Boy, Jim's really pessimistic." You talked about the demise of Detroit and uh, and the need for things that still exist, I think. But tonight I see more bounce in your step and more optimism maybe. Uh, can you just, as a as a uh, closer here, comment on maybe optimism yeah. and pessimism for our students and for all of us? Well, I mean, it's, uh, it's a question of whether the glass is half full or half empty. Uh, I believe if we play our cards right, um, you know, we could be on the verge of kind of a renaissance in how a society comes to grips providing uh, um, resources we couldn't even have imagined several years ago. Um, it'll be a quite different society, but I think for uh, college students today, that, I mean, provided you don't, uh, uh, you don't believe that the, the world uh, your, your life has to be one characterized by great stability. Uh, if you relish change and see it as opportunity uh, rather than as a downside, it's going to be a very exciting world. And I, you know, it's kind of like the Age of Enlightenment. Now, I will also remind you that the Age of Enlightenment uh, two centuries ago unleashed revolution around the world and resulted in some horrifying conflict. So it can go the other way. I, I probably was a bit pessimistic several years ago because I'm from Missouri, and although I was born in Iowa, I must point out. Uh, and people from Missouri have this old saying that sometimes to get a mule to move, you first have to whack it over the head of the two by four to get its attention. And I suppose the pessimism was my two by four to get people to shake them and wake them up. But I think they are beginning to wake up. And that's the fact that we now had action by the United States government beginning to invest again, that around the world, uh, we're relating more and more uh, to people as peers rather than as uh, uh, the supreme authority on uh, engineering or on higher education. I think that's a good thing. Um, uh, so as, as I say, I think that provided you can adapt to this flattening of the world, as Friedman puts it, it could be a very exciting place. for working with us.